My name is Curtis Petushkin, and I'm running for External Affairs Commissioner. Um, I've, I've been here for five years, and I've seen uh, various approaches when it comes to um, mandating the External Affairs commission, the Commissioner position. Um, I, believe, I haven't seen any real fundraising efforts done over the past five years. I haven't seen any effort made to increase our endowed scholarships through very public fundraising through the CSA. And um, that's, one, that's one perspective I'd like to bring back to the CSA, is not only commenting on the fact that tuition is rising, but also including pragmatic steps to help address the concern among students. Um, and basically, I've been following uh, a lot of the CSA's position policies throughout the year, been, and many student groups have seen me talk to them about these issues. I've been a member in many uh, board meetings and, and uh, bringing my objections forward. So uh, I believe that I can bring a lot of perspective and experience and a desire to include more perspective and experience among our student population in determining CSA policies. I've been an RA for three years, and I, I still maintain close connections with IHC and RLS, so I still maintain um, uh, a close, a close uh, perspective on um, what are the issues facing our first-year students. Um, as well, I've been involved with a number of uh, projects throughout the year, including the, uh, the CFS petition um, efforts to have a, have a referendum on continued membership in the Canadian Federation of Students. Um, through that time, I've networked with uh, over 23 different schools. Um, I still maintain those connections with schools, including the new incumbent um, candidates who have, who have risen to a leadership uh, rank within the university. And um, I believe that I'm bringing um, a willingness to, to not only talk about issues, but also to um, bring a results-driven format to how to address these issues, meaning that um, I would really like to see more pragmatic steps taken to address the various issues across our campus. And while definitely saying that we need to have education and awareness, I want to go the step further and say, what are we going to actually do to solve these issues? My first primary issue is rebuilding um, an interest in rebuilding our endowed scholarships. Um, I haven't seen any real public efforts done by the CSA over the past five years to rebuild our scholarships. Of course, things have happened, but we also need a very public movement to rebuild our endowed scholarships. Um, we have a number of very, very talented people and very talented organizations on campus. We, I maintain network connections with uh, dozens of different universities. Um, they've all had some, in, some in, uh, input in rebuilding their endowed scholarships, and I'd like to bring that perspective back to Guelph. So that would be definitely my primary uh, objective. Um, the second objective I'd like to have is increasing the efficiency of student advocacy. We have an excellent reputation for um, awareness and educational projects through the HRO and through various other human rights groups across campus. And I would like to take that step further, saying not only are we able to um, educate the student population, bring awareness to human rights issues, through the new SHAC proposal, we actually have legal representation on these issues. So, not, so we will no longer have to refer students um, in cases where they need legal advice to a third party. We'll actually be able to provide that service for students free of charge and in a, and in a convenient location. Um, not to say we don't need the HREO or anything like that. I believe we do have very good professional services on campus, but we can also raise our advocacy efforts up to a professional level, or at least try to do it. Um, I'm, always, I'm always open to new input on uh, policies and programs that I propose. By all means, I'm gonna I want a lot of student input on fundraising initiatives, especially knowing that what might work or what kind of ideas can you bring from your hometowns to bring, to bring more money into our endowed scholarships. Um, so, of course, that's always a constantly shifting and constantly updating perspective and policy. We need more student involvement in human rights issues and political issues on campus. We need to also be able to provide outlets for these um, political groups, such as providing voter registration areas on campus. Um, as well as we also need to provide um, cultural opportunities for students on campus. I went to Culture Shock this year, run, run by the ISA, which was an excellent program and a really well-run program run by students at our school. And we need to encourage more involvement in activities like that. We've seen a general, I, or at least I've seen a general, um, a, a general trend of student apathy, but at the same time, there are a lot of student groups that really don't have the experience necessary or have the, the, the receptive audience in the CSA in order to have their program needs met. Like I said before, I have still maintain close connections with RLS and IHC, so I've maintained very close connections with the first-year student population. CAPCOM this year has been initiating general student surveys, which have been very effective and provided a lot of good information on new policy decisions. 
Um, so I'd like to continue that that legacy of maintaining, a, uh, sorry, of, of um, receiving as much student input as possible on these policy issues. Um, I'd like to form an education working group on what are the issues facing students at the school in terms of access to education and tuition problems. I'd like to uh, include more input from cultural groups, from political groups, from disadvantaged groups, from domestic and international students. Um, there are plenty of opportunities for students to, to involve themselves in these issues and if you've been talking to any of the, the dozens of student groups I've been talking to, I'm more than willing to take that extra step to initiate contact with these groups um, in an otherwise um, shy environment uh, when it comes to the student politics. So um, I, again, I have, a, I have a legacy of maintaining a close connection with various groups across campus and of, of definitely going the pragmatic step of starting the discussion and starting the um, initiatives. I already have extensive experience in networking with uh, student union leaders across Canada. Um, I, have, I have connections with those 23 leaders through their cell phone numbers um, that's in my pocket all the time. I always have those numbers with me. Um, I'm also a political moderate. I don't have a political ideology. The only currency I deal with in terms of CSA policies are ideas and not people and ideology. Um, I have a tendency to accept ideas that, and, and, and engage in critical discussion over ideas, even ideas that I don't necessarily agree with because I believe that every student need a, needs a voice. Um, as well, I've already demonstrated my resolve to tackling large issues. Um, I've been involved with the petition process for bringing a referendum on continued membership to our campus, including all the new developments that have come through that. Um, so if anything, I'm, I'm bringing a large amount of experience to the student population, and I'm not happy knowing that I have this experience. I want to bring that experience to other student leaders who want to engage in networking opportunities, other student leaders who want to tackle huge issues and deal with large organizations. Um, and I, I believe that every student should have access to those kinds of resources, and I'm more than happy to provide them for students. And I have a history of pragmatic resolution when it comes to discussing issues on campus. Um, if you've been a member of any of the dozens of student groups that I've talked to, you've seen me at your meetings discussing issues. If you've been to the board meetings, you've seen me there, and I'm, not, and I'm quite comfortable bringing uh, discussion topics up with the CSA board. Um, and I basically have this, I have this idea that we always talk about solidarity and advocacy, but we miss that kind of local connection through our external affairs commissioner office. And by that I mean if we want to represent ourselves externally to other schools, we need to have a local root base to work from. So we need to engage in local solidarity and local input in order to help shape the policies of the external commissioner. Because I want to, I want to be able to present to other schools and other organizations the best that Guelph has to offer. And in order to do so, we need to engage in constant consultation with our students. We need to engage in constant efforts to get, students, get new student leaders and existing student leaders to have more of a voice in, in determining our CSA policies. So in that sense, my slogan, which is solidarity beginning locally and must be pursued externally, applies in that sense in that we need to have more, lo more local solidarity and more local input in these external policies. And the C external commissioner must be able to serve as a conduit to bring other knowledge from other outside organizations back to our local student body and disseminate it in a responsible and effective manner.